Naive art is another name for primitivist art, which has become overgrown with new features and relatives. Naive art is usually defined as visual art that is created by a person who lacks the formal education and training that a professional artist undergoes. In anatomy, art history, technique, perspective, ways of seeing. When this aesthetic is emulated by a trained artist, the result is sometimes called primitivism, pseudo-naive art or folk-naive art. Close to naive are marginal art, visionary or intuitive art, folk art, art brute, children's art. In primitive art, the artistic experience is important as an existential experience. In each of these cases, art is born out of the undivided unity of man and the world. Closeness to nature in this aesthetic is interpreted metaphysically. That is why, in different styles of naive art, the greatest value is atmosphere, bright coloring, attention to details. The majority of images are local – animals, plants, landscapes. Primitivism appeals to the traditions of art and established opinions for the sake of reviving the ability of natural direct perception of the world. Naive art is recognized and often imitated for its childlike simplicity and frankness. Paintings of this kind typically have a flat rendering style with a rudimentary expression of perspective. The style is well represented in Eastern Europe and developing countries. In Russia now, some of the most influential artists of naive art are Nikolai Kopeikin and Vasya Loshkin. They belong to the group Kolhui, or witchcraft artists, formed in 2002. They are figurative paintings, reminiscent of illustrations of children's books, give the impression of naive, very understandable and even funny with a trick, and the characters, even cartoon characters, though childish in form, are, in a situation, gloomy and adult. Kapekin's works were used in the music video of band Leningrad, Kinky Primitivism in art is also characteristic of anti-colonial artists. They want to recover and idealize the past in connection humans with nature. This desire is connected to a critique of the dominant impact of Western civilization. These artists often critique stereotypes about primitive, colonized peoples. A kind of revanchism merges with the reverse theology of primitivism and creates an art different from Western primitivism. This direction tends to reinforce rather than criticize colonial stereotypes. This tendency is particularly evident in the work of artists associated with the Black Lives Matter movement. Art Brut or Outsider Art The concept of Art Brut was introduced by the French artist de Buffet in 1945 as reference to his collection of paintings by self-taught children and people with psychiatric diagnosis. He was firmly convinced that only this kind of art could be honest with audience, devoid of the pattern of stereotypes. Art Brut works are highly spontaneous, with no orientation on the viewer or the art market, and are virtually independent of cultural templates. Today, Art Brut is commonly seen as a sudden mental outburst from the depth of consciousness and the subconscious that has nothing to do with the standards of classical or contemporary art. The most suitable animation technique for Art Brut is Stratcut or Stratticut. This form of frame-by-frame -frame animation is a complex technique of multi-layered clay animation. The clay absorbs any dirt, lint, punctures or any rough treatment, acquiring the necessarily distorted and worn appearance. This is so necessary for Art Brut. This technique works like the effect of kineograph, where a whole mold is a piece of clay and a slice cut-off is equal to one frame. In general, 
The Kineograph is a device for creating an animated image consisting of individual frames applied to sheets of paper and sticked together in a notebook. The founder of this style of animation, Daniels, offers Stratcard tutorials and video lessons on his website. His iconic work for the credits of the film Free. The frequent use in the style of a distorted image of man is associated with the experiences and traumas of war. The Japanese artist Tanami, for example, was greatly influenced by his childhood war experiences and memories. Born in 1936 in Tokyo, he survived the horrors of war, the attack on the city by the US Air Force in 1945, and the occupation by Allied forces. His work whimsically intertwines the aesthetics of traditional Japanese prints, manga, Western avant-garde cinema, fashion magazines and erotic photography. The impressions of a nine-year-old boy formed the basis of all his early work. In the 60s, he did covers for Jefferson Airplane in the now familiar genre of psychedelia. And in the later period, he turns to philosophical reflections on life and death. Child art expresses simple feelings and sensations. Simplified images, a direct message or story in this form are conveyed to the viewer on the nose. The works seem touching and honest, and by the way, this is more difficult than it seems, especially for a professional artist. It is possible to distinguish stylistic features of children's drawing. Non-compliance with proportions, sizes, lack of perspective, two-dimensionality, depiction of objects without overlapping, syncretism, generalized depiction of objects, often defining an object through a symbol. Graphic works in this style can resemble a doodle. As an example of illustrations, you can see the poster of the puppet theater. Further, there are announcements in social networks. David Hockney's redesigns of The Sun and Piccadilly are childlike, playfully naive, and full of international mistakes and digital blurbs. Homepage of the Blanc 2022 Graphic Design Festival website in Barcelona. Often child art is used in advertising. By supporting the doctor-patient relationship so more moms get prenatal care, Offer moms access to maternity nurse support around the clock. Empower local communities working to reduce premature births. And partner with governments by providing actionable insights to help treat kids at risk for asthma. We're built to do all of that and more. United Health Group. Example of advertising in Instagram of the French brand Hermès. Several music video works in this aesthetic. But sunlight, don't come in, in my room. Animator Boris Kazakov, already mentioned in the lecture about scribble animation, was the author of the music video for the song Sasha by the band Kino. A frame animation in the style of Victor Tsoi's drawings was made with markers and pens on small sheets of paper for notes. Quiet. 
quite often the group Animal Collective refers to the stylistics of children's art. Titles for Film Juno Dobro Shrift is one of Russia's brightest social projects to draw attention to the problems of people with low mobility and help those in need, offering people and companies once a year to use a special children's fund. Folk art is based on tradition, which is generated by society and culture. This is an expression of identity through the transmission of shared values and aesthetics of the community. Folk art is non-professional art, which is characterized by anonymity, the use of ornaments, elements and symbols of ritualism and tradition, and also the simplicity of image technique, lack of naturalism, the use of local colors, symbols, special importance in the culture of folk art. At one time, the traditions and images of folk art from the East and Africa created a furor in European and Russian painting enriching the palette of images, techniques and themes. The most famous example is Pablo Picasso, admired and inspired by African tribal sculptures and masks. The avant-garde artist Natalia Goncharova was inspired by traditional Russian lubok. Russian lubok characterized by symbol graphics and narrative. The images are most often borrowed from fiction, folklore, or religious subjects. Often Lubok was produced in series, like the old Russian comic strip. Lubok, like other phenomena of folk art, combined with elements of cubism and futurism, formed the basis of neo-primitivism. It is a kind of avant-garde movement, whose creator was Alexander Shevchenko. An example of the motion designer Alexander Smirsky, combining elements of collage, abstract and naive art. Я пошел на гон, ворвался в русский рэп, это Кармагеддон Тут снова на видах квадратный мудрец или круглый дурак, раздавленный колесом Несет свой бред, выезжая на говне, это вызывает смех Тут столько МС на дне, они утонули все, разошлись квадраты по воде Здесь сами себе ставят палки в колеса, встала на месте их машина прогресса Мы поджигаем зал, будто это практика пирокинеза Нас пытаются подрезать, скрежет железо, где-то прячется бездна Улыбается бездарь, но как нам показывает опыт, все это бывает полезно